keep forgiving. Loving action number eight is about forgiveness. And forgiveness is indispensable also. If you want a better relationship, because relationships, the good ones, do not happen by accident. Always intentional. Always making decisions. Always about making choices. And the choices we make are about the loving actions. So as to improve and make the relationships better. Loving action number eight, forgiveness. Keep forgiving. When you forgive another person, you heal yourself. You heal that person. You heal the world. When you do not forgive, you get sick and a part of you dies. Be very blessed and profoundly healed in the deepest recesses of your heart. And forgiveness is a very powerful tool for you to ruin your life and the life of the people around you. The more you love yourself, the easier you can forgive. Self-compassion is a must. Self-love is a must. The more you come to know how much undeserved forgiveness you receive, the generous you become in forgiving. Have you settled in your mind a vision for your family? Have you conceived of that happy vision? The Bible says, I have ye, you given a choice between blessing and curse. This day I call the heavens and the earth as witness against you today that I have said before you life and death, blessings and curse. Now choose life so that you and your children may live. Deuteronomy 30.19 Choose to be forgiving, develop a forgiving attitude. As you do, keep the family spirit burning with the flames of love. We all get hurt. To feel pain when wrong is inevitable, but to remain in pain is a choice. Even if we all get hurt, we can recover through forgiveness. Treat conflicts as conflicts, nothing more nothing less. In your conflicts, you should never even mention the possibility of separation if you are a married couple. When you do, you insult your spouse, your husband, or your wife. You insult the sacred covenant between the two of you as husband and wife. Not only, you also insult your God. The one who brought you together. So what is the loving action to take here? Instead of just nagging, instead of just holding grudges, instead of just blaming, make the decision to be upfront whenever you get hurt. We all get hurt, either intentionally or unintentionally. You don't hide it or allow it to build up and later see it explode like a volcanic eruption. Like the Taal vo Volcano, agree to share your hurts to each other as a spouse, as a family, as siblings, as friends. Immediately ask for forgiveness from one another. In doing this, you allow yourself to, to grow because forgiveness is a skill that you can develop and grow. Learn not just to forgive, but to develop a forgiving Attitude.